Lazy piano. All right. Some backstory on on Lazy. Um, uh, somebody said that he, he you know, he's bad mouth and BDO. So I, I wanted to see because I, I didn't see Asmund bad bad mouth us, but I, I kind of wanted to see it. Um, the, the backstory on Lazy Peon, he is an ex BDO um like addict. He used to play BDO. He's obsessed with it. Used to make content for the game. Like, really got big making content for the game. And then he branched out to other MMOs. And most of Lazy Peon's content nowadays is very, very negative reviews of games and how much he can... It's just very beautiful, colorful ways of shit-talking basically every game that he plays um, while hyping up all of the new MMOs that are on the market that no one's ever played yet. So recently I've started work on my Black Desert Online in 2023 video. His content is good. I watch all of Peon's videos. It's just really negative stuff. The usual full revisit. I so he's playing BDO. I just want to. I just want to bet that Peon is not going to have a good experience what with BDO, but we'll see. Man? Maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Maybe this video is different. That where I play a bunch and do an updated pros and cons. This is not that video. Okay. In this video, you'll get my first impressions of the game's newest zone class. So this is the review of the game, then. Okay. Well, that makes sense. I actually. No, it's the first impressions of him playing now. His first impression video is actually was made back in 2017, and he said he loved it. Uh, and he also wrote a beautiful Steam review five years later after 150,000 hours playing the game, um, stating how much it was awful. I'm just kidding. He didn't do that, but he. He might I used as well to have. watch Lazy Peon's videos a lot whenever BDO first came out in the West. Me! Because, like, he know life this game as much yes! as I did. Main yes! Yes! Line, yes! As well as some reaction from me playing BDO for the first time in quite a long time. Ah, uh, his BDO yeah. content Going was the this, best, It was man. actually my intention to fully get back into BDO. No bias at all there. MMO. I kind of realized that with all the lackluster MMOs coming out recently, and the game that I thought would be a BDO replacer, Throne at Liberty, turning out to be a disaster. <laughs> and I'm still going to play Throne and Liberty, by the way. My plan... Uh, he's gonna play Throne of Liberty, though, just to make fun of it, I guarantee. It's just the best content he's ever had, let's be honest. And is to do 12-hour live streams with the game on autoplay. I just... Uh-oh. i complaining about it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yep! Yep! I told you! <laughs> That's exactly what his content is gonna be. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait for it. Um, I love how Lazy Peon describes uh, BDO as his old ex-girlfriend, who, like you broke up with for very concrete reasons, but the longer you're away from her, your standards fall and they fall and they fall until they reach a point that um, your Twitter status just says seeking female companionship, female optional. And that's where Lazy Peon is now. And now he's playing uh, Black Desert Online again. I'm fucking loving this game. <laughs> I waited so long for this shit. This shit is totally worth the wait. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yo. Yo, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, just stick with the game that has the best combat and long-term sense of progression. Yo, guys, thanks for all the follows. Hey, girl, hey, welcome to the stream. Since the last time I played BDO, that I'm no longer burned out with the grinding yeah. aspect of the game. Okay. So with all that said, let's jump into my experience. Revolving door, boys. Game after a quick word from today's sponsor. All right, let's Rise hear it. Rise of Kingdoms is an epic cross-platform strategy game that takes players on an immersive journey through various historical eras with 14 different historical... The game volume is low. You guys want me to bring up the volume of the video? civilizations to choose from you can rewrite history in whichever way you choose each Skip civilization has no i strictly think that if you're going to do a react video it's just common fucking courtesy to let them get their ad off i think that's just fair as unique military units architecture and even legendary commanders like hannibal julius caesar and leonidas and with this new update you can finally try out the new civilization greece he's back and on video in the back is such a strong word. event for a chance to win awesome prizes including an apple vision pro join over 60 what the million hell is active players vision? worldwide and form alliances <laughs> to battle enemies in real time on the enormous this looks world like clash of clans all battles happen in real time and anyone i love clash 
that's or leave a battle at any time with a simple click, making it a true RTS gameplay experience. Players have full control over the layout and aesthetics of their cities, as well as tons of troop options to ensure your city and army are unique to your playstyle. Download so Rise of Kingdoms now by clicking the first link in the yes, description box below or scanning the QR code on screen. And remember to use promo play, code GREASE4ROK to get 20 silver keys for free. And if you're already a veteran ROK player or just want some more action, there's a second link for the special Civilization Clash event where you can win awesome prizes including an Apple Vision Pro. Yeah, Download was... now. Black Sword. Desert Online in 2023. It's been a while since I've really... I don't know why they don't try to... Like, the, what, Hannibal was the one that had the elephants, right? Like, why don't Sword, they thanks for the 100 so biddies. I agree. <laughs> you got an interbedio, as you may or may not... Bro, these people are thirsty. Are you looking at the chat? That's... That guy's... That guy's a seven-year player right there. 100%. That guy's been playing BDO for a minute. That's our... That's our people. No, in the past I was super addicted to this game. It basically ruined my life. Last time I was really into it was probably mid twenty. Things I don't want Apple. I respect spell. it, but apparently the game's really good now. So let's jump I like in the iPhone. and check it out. My plan for this video is to level up on the new class and. Jesus, look at all those. Did he just say level up on the new class and he's playing wizard? Come on. Don't. Fucking characters! Holy shit! Yeah, that's how BDO, that's how all MMOs work, Asmin. Come on. Completely re-roll my main. But before we do that, let's jump into my current main and see if there's anything waiting for me in the mailbox. Okay. Apparently there's an event where everyone gets free dream horses right now, so. That's the Pegasus that's shit. True. I appreciate that my UI is the same as it was before. What the fuck is that? Random floating nope. crystal. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. The Rift Echo, only yeah, available that's, on seasonal. That should not be there unless, unless you're summoning the thing or something. Like, I don't know. Like, he's on Serendia 1. Why is that even there? You, you can only summon it on a seasonal server anyway. It just confuses people. You know what I mean? So straight away, within seconds, I've bumped into something new. We're going to make a seasonal character and check out the new new player okay. experience. Oh, my frames. Where are we going to get this dream horse thing? Oh, is this it? So you don't even need to do anything to get the dream horse. You just log no. in and yeah. claim it. It's, it's awesome. It's kind of good timing because the last time I played... All right, what's the betting he picks the Pegasus? The question is, does he make the correct choice at the male or female Pegasus? What's the loading circle on Peon's head? Uh, There is no loading circle. Oh. This game was like... Yeah, wait, why is that there? at the end of December 2022 mm -hmm. and I was playing it just for a yeah, little bit to check weird. out the new quests and my god that's kind of weird we're at 413 is that new, even new maybe new it's part experience. of the video oh wait no it's in the bottom left down here what is that oh oh okay it's oh my frames where are we I thought it was part of that part of the video thing? oh is this it so you don't even it's my do stream. I was like, oh my gosh, so that is, it yeah. was perfectly placed. It's kind of good timing because the last time I played this game was like, I got bamboozled. 2022 mm -hmm. and I was playing it just for a little bit to check out the new quests. And my goal was I, to that's actually what buy I a dream too, horse, dreams. but I couldn't get the- I feel like the same way that I like New World and I come back to New World regularly, I think that Lazy Peon, like, this is his New World. World of Warcraft is the word you're looking for. He, this is this is Peon's original MMO. That would be World of Warcraft for Asmin. Pegasus. Nothing was appearing on the market, so the fact that I can save my money and just get one for free, kind of huge. These are my rewards for not playing for seven months. A billion silver. Wait, what? A billion? That's a lot. That, hey! He got the number of zeros right this time. It's a win. You know what All I mean? Right. It's little baby steps. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Wow. <laughs> we take that. Anything in the mail. Guild bonus. I was in a guild. This dude's getting payouts. This guy got multiple payouts. What the? He got three payouts before they kicked. They didn't even kick him. Okay. 
we got some payout, have we? I always love coming back to Black Desert Online and just checking all the rewards that you get after not playing for a long time. Holy There's always shit. like tons of stuff. One Big billion racks. is a lot in I fairness for a new I player. Play BDO, Big What's his gear at? I'm going to judge him. 289, 334. That's actually not bad. He's played this a fair amount more than he lets on. Every time he makes a video in BDO, he's like, I played it for like two days and I see it's dog shit. It's still dog shit. It'll always be dog shit. Um, he's played this a lot more than I think he's let on. He's got Ted Distos and stuff on, bro. This is not a joke. Wait, starts with me. He did not get that RG at the start boxes. of the game either. This one's going to be no different. Oh my God. Did you guys see it? Hold on. The relic from the past. The video Wait, starts with me. Oh my fucking God. Is that a heave helmet? What is that? What that looks like a looks like an ultimate heave helmet. Holy shit. Opening RNG That's boxes. Crazy. This one's gonna be no different. Feed the workers, I suppose. Give the lads. I still some have gear. that it's fucking thing. Months. Work at oh my, don't use beer! Don't do it! Don't do it! Alright. If you're a new player watching this, stop using beer to feed your workers. Oh god. How has he played it? The dude is over 600 gear score, and he still doesn't know. All right, I'm just going to show everybody. I'm just going to... This is the VOD for Funday Monday we haven't actually gotten to yet. But, like, there's... There is... Okay, so you have beer, okay? This is what all the guides tell you to, to do. Notice it says worker recovery plus two. That's dog shit. Don't do that. Notice it's also 3K per thing. Okay? 1.1. And this gives you three recovery per thing. Grilled bird meat. I make my own beer. Make your own grilled bird meat. Sell the beer. Make the grilled bird meat. Profit. Stop doxing secrets. No, I'm doxing stupidity. There's a difference. Recovery. You no longer have to feed your workers. You can put beer in the family inventory. No! Play. Just what we need. Just gonna put it in. Just no! Have them auto drink beer absolutely huge no! what a change massive quality of life do we have any money waiting for me in the marketplace oh i've got 21 billion this is what i'm talking about there is no way that he played this for two days and has 21 billion sitting liquid bro there's no shot i don't believe it i don't believe it for a second beer market crash now yeah it's my fault in Balano the they're used to make balanos meals bro people use beer all the time that's its primary use Yo, Milkman! Bro, it, it's like this, bro. You know also, Lotus, Blissfully Bad, Max, Nams, Deco, Ifera. Hey, girl, hey. Thanks for those follows, guys. I appreciate those. What it's like, it's like this dude, just like, uh, he left, and he bought Bitcoin in 2010. And exactly. he's like, oh, let's check my wallet, no. see how it's doing. No, he's been secretly shooting up BDO behind the scenes and hasn't been telling anyone, okay? They thought he was clean. He kept saying he was sober. He's been playing it the whole time. What the fuck, man? I've got 21 billion in the warehouse. Not bad. A completely normal number. 500 advanced cooking utensils. Do I look like Saturn? Oh my god, he's just what going was, what in was on I the cooking. the last time I played this game? I think I was a life skiller, this wasn't This is fine. I? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be a life skiller again. So you're going to pre-order 100 utensils? utensils? Yeah, let's sell them. Merry Christmas. Like every time you come back to this game, he sold them. No, no! no! I'm just looking at like God. There's so many no. Oh, he sold a hundred cooking utensils. Oh God. Numbers and so much shit going on in this game. Oh God. So so that explains the billions together. of silver. That this dude has Tet cook. This guy has Tet cooks clothes and Manos clothes, and he's got a sturdy life zone. He's not. He doesn't play it anymore. It's a terrible game. Terrible. Don't even worry about it. I've got 31 billion. I don't know what I can buy. Is that a sniper rifle or is that a hunting rifle? I feel like that's a hunting I'm rifle. That. It's been a long time. I don't know what Yo, the guys. is like. Is it another turn to bitty. Okay, now it's Hey, yo. Praise the RNG Turns and tweeze us. Hey, girl. Hey, thanks for those follows. What the fuck? He just made $20 billion? That's insane. Silvers. S silvers. Also, it's 12. And it's million. I get the numbers. The numbers. What the fuck? Riveting content. You'd be surprised. You just made twenty billion dollars. That's oh, insane. God. So wrong on so many I levels. You assets on me. Let's open some boxes. I guess I've never had anything good. Did he sell something for forty billion? 
I don't see it. Wait, whoa, my God, wait. He went from, tw now he's at 31. He didn't actually show. Leon. He didn't actually show. That. It's been a long time. I don't know what the economy's like. It's another 10 bill. And every time he opens the marketplace, he gets another 10 billion. Do I get that? When do I get to open my market and get a free 20 billion from Jay? Delphi? Get on it. Partner privilege. He sold some hearts. No. This is a man who claims not to play Black Desert. Oh, I have it logged in in forever. The dude has 40 billion liquid with Tap Mano sitting in his inventory and over 600 gear score. Okay, now up to 40 billion. Turns out. What the fuck? Yeah, thank you. He just made 20 billion dollars. That's insane. He sold the Tap Manos. Suddenly. Okay. Let's open some boxes, I guess. I've never had. Yeah, he's wearing tit tongue red. He's oh my god. He's got a full tongue red set on, dude. Now I will say that he's playing with the basic artifacts that life skiller. It's an upgrade of his good out of any of these boxes ever since playing this game. So please, oh, see. please, please, just one time give him the tit tongue red. Just one time let him land on the Ted Ogre, please God. Oh, it's today. like CSGO. I'd have to get like a Ted accessory, that'd be so Never cool. mind, he, he didn't oh, jump. Yeah, oh, that's, that's too bad. Yeah, yeah. Games, isn't it? He's not wrong though, that's pretty it's garbage. Bad. You've received rare loot. What's the rare loot? God, I'm so ungrateful. <laughs> that's, that's the Garmoth, that's the fun part. There is none. That's just the Garmoth <laughs> experience. I'm overwhelmed by my fucking inventory. Holy oh, shit, I think... Ted accessories with basic artifacts? Davos, exa I, that's what I'm saying, dude. He plays a lot more than I think he lets on, man. Thank you. Yes. Even this guy, he's been playing the game for years, still overwhelmed by the inventory. I feel- Yeah, he's not wrong. It's an excellent point. Look at the inventory here. This is ridiculous. I also want to point out uh, that my man had Tet Manos tools a moment ago and has now upgraded to the Demihar um, set. Much better about myself now. In my gear. Crystal effects. Have all my crystals been broken? Did I get scammed out of all my crystals? They did improve inventory the next day. I did, no, I mean, they gave you an extra bag for it. But really, they should just give you less stuff. Just make it less confusing. Adding an inventory system on top of it they, that new players have to manage just makes it more confusing. Now they got to manage an extra inventory on top of everything else. Daily special. Oh, it's a battle pass. Okay. Mm. A little bit overwhelmed. What the hell is that horse? Is that a horse? Oh, man. That looks like my horse. Are you gonna... That looks... Look how look how nice that horse looks. That's crazy. Skin? Uh, I've never seen a horse. I think that one looks like shit. What the fuck? It looks beautiful. How dare you? What the hell? That is a beautiful horse. It is a, it is literally, I descend on people, okay? It's like a giant beam of light, like a beautiful bald Jesus descending from the heavens, the light reflecting off my head, and then the white horse effects. I just land on people. That looks like that in BDO. What's in my storage? Anything of value in my storage? Looks like Nothing. I like, this was subtle. Did you guys see this? That's how I know he's a veteran player. Look at this. Look, this is really subtle. Like that in BDO. What's in my store? He talked to the wrong guy. And how many times have we done this? How many times have all of us done? We walk up and this fucker is standing too close to the goddamn storage keeper. I have talked to this guy needlessly. He's like that guy. You're like, you're, you're like really focused on doing something, right? You're like, you're walking up to talk to your friend. You're like, oh, hey, 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 Blue, what's going on? Hey, man, like, what's going on? It's, it's great, man. It's so great. That's, that's, no, really, I, I have something to, like, God, I hate this fucking guy. Just move him to the left. Storage, anything of value. It was subtle. I liked it. Cosmic it was subtle. Uh, auto move to storage. Oh, God, the auto move to storage is the best thing ever, dude. You just organize your storage just one time and then it's over. It's done. It's like you just delivered the ring to a flaming mountain. It's awesome. That's clean. Oh, that's really nice. You can quickly just move if it was black storage, and red, it would be He said something really positive about the, about the game. God, I have so much fucking shit. Oh, my God. Yes, you do have a lot oh, of fucking shit. I want to start the bloody video, but I've got so much spots. stuff. Oh my. Oh god. Oh god.
This is what Black Whoa. Desert devs need to do when you're a returning player and you I just want to point out he's been playing the game for at least two hours and still isn't riding on a Pegasus. Uh -huh. Also, he organized his entire inventory and left the heave. Dude's wearing a pen, Griffin log into the game there's a big fucking button that just pops up and it just says liquidate and it just yeah. liquidates your entire bank so you've just got cash because I they should just have that for every game that's true chat koala i didn't even see that he's got an azula accessory sitting in his inventory i am overwhelmed with the amount of shit that's in my banks from the last time i played this game okay so let's craft this dream horse now so we need to go okay, here manufacture this is gonna be juice put these guys i'm in. thinking he's gonna this go pegasus horse, male with a hammer and an i also want to point out that at the start of the video he said he was going to play the new class and then proceeded to start to spend the next 10 minutes playing wizard anvil hammered away and got us a horse. Nope, Let's not get that ourselves one. A stallion. Cardinal. Oh my god, I thought he picked the mythical sensors. Oh my god. Oh, that would have been so funny. Because you have to like type it in and stuff. There's no way they would have support ticketed that. Oh man. What male? Uh, yep. Call him male. Black yep, male Peggy. Yep. Go on then. <laughs> Enter again. Yeah, okay. Alright. It literally tells you please to obtain, type the following phrase. Adua male. Honestly. At a certain point, you, you expect this out of a BDO player. That's how you know that he is an OG BDO player. Is number one, he didn't read the fucking instructions. None of us give a shit. We just keep hitting R and saying the storyline sucks. Um, and then when prompted with a with a box like this, we think that it's the name, and so he he really just wanted to name his his horse condom. And condom, <laughs> which would of course also imply that he's super super thirsty which again lines up with the typical bdo player no 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 like all these names offensive or something ferrari uh, he still hasn't <laughs> he still hasn't gotten it yet three three attempts in uh, he's gonna he's gonna read it give, give him a second is this bugged <laughs> oh, wait, Name him ass please enter the following phrase I I, that's the worst part the worst, the worst part is Asmin's going. No, 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 no. Name him this. It's not the name box, Asmin. You did this. You literally had to type it. Oh my God, bro. None of us, none of us know. Like I, I thought it was. I thought it was asking me to name the horse, but it's oh, asking. Oh, I didn't read it either, actually. Oh. The underscore Ava just subscribed. The Ava Starring and Starry Night subscribe. with the brand new subs. Thanks so much, guys. I'm going to have to put a tarp down. All these new subs make me so wet. The wet floor sign's just not going to do it today. Thanks for all the follows as well, guys. Hey, girl. Hey. How you guys doing? Oh. It's good me to type the thing. There to it make is. sure that I want the correct it's horse. Oh, no. An absolute donkey. No. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I was going to see if he typed it correctly the first time. There it is. He did. Now we can enter a name. Now we're getting... Okay, we went with Lamborghini, and he actually spelled it correctly. Unironically. That's Amy. crazy. There it is. All of the skills are already at 100%. If they had handed out, why mail? Um, because the market, typically when they hand away uh, tier 8s in the past, they have all been female. And so there's an overabundance of female dream horses on the market, like a massive overabundance. And so getting your male dream horse is much more difficult and you need a male and a female to go for T10. So even if you're not going for T10 now, you can go for T10 more easily in the future because the females are readily obtainable. Yo, thank you. Strip my old mount. Thanks, okay. for, Thanks for the follows, guys. I really winner. appreciate that. You've had a good run, but now you're about to get replaced. Yeah, you go ahead. A real horse. Yeah, I think Name I'm him finally mulch. ready to play the game. I do think this is really oh, cool. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yeah, it is. We have the Pegasus. I That's wish so you could nice. fly a little bit Up higher. Fly a little higher, you say? Well, I have a horse that does just that. Get eight peasant for so long. Feels good to finally have a real horse. Inventory clean. I've dealt with some. Yeah, bullshit. that is really flex. Cool. I I, I just it had to be Hunt done. The horse in Balanos. Had to be done. Go over to the next character. After spending an hour literally got it like yesterday. So organizing my inventory and selling stuff, it's time to finally create a new character. One I'm tap. No, thirty-one tap. 
Look at that class yeah. list. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I said this. Honestly, there should be better class guides for these. This is the last time I like, played BD. Like, I made choose your class guides that are on YouTube, but like, the game should do a better job highlighting the different classes when you mouse over them because not every player is going to go into YouTube and find like either my class guides or or um, Anders' class guide videos and stuff like that. And choosing your class is some of the most important. Uh, it's one of the most important decisions you're going to make, man. Video, but now there's even more classes. All right, we're going for the mega. 26 classes. I feel like at a certain point, there might be too many classes. Like, maybe I'm stupid. That everybody kept saying that about Le League of Legends too. You just slow down the class releases so that people can keep stomaching them and you can just keep infinitely releasing them. This just seems like a lot, but okay. I just checked a little video at the bottom and hope I for the best. this was the class I played well, when I did I Black guess WoW has that many too check out my guide for it. Is classes. Heck W, about a year uh, ago. Yeah, there's 52 Woosa. then. I've never played a Woosa before. Cool. Lady with some fans. And this is the class that I'm going to play. The there you go. That's right. Why am I playing this class? Basically, my editor told me that this is a mix between a sorceress and a wizard. And as a... He told you what? Does your editor play the game? <laughs> no, dude. It's just, you could have just said it's Dark Knight with red effects. Like, at a wizard main who initially played sorceress when BDO version. first launched. That sounds really yeah. good. And then the so awakening is sucky, you know, in like... this class. I could okay. make my own unique character, but there's people that are literal artists that spend hours upon hours making. I used to make my own characters, and then I realized that everyone else can just do it better, no matter how much other time I spend on it. So then I just click the thickest one in the character presets. Good looking characters. Wait, wait. Oh, y'all, look at this. Like, what a surprise. The girl has like a million of these fucking things. The guy. One, it was like, yeah, so you want to be Guts or Geralt? <laughs> okay, you're going to be Geralt? All right, there it is. Look, men are simple creatures. And I know that I'm well, not going like, to like make anything as good as what make, so Hey, shut up. We need up this. The album and we flick through until we find something nice. Maybe make some small tweaks. Uh, the freckle's not this doing it for me. too much like my ex-girlfriend. PTSD. No. That's rough. Next. Oh, that's a creepy one. Hello. Yeah, just... People on the SEA servers uh, make some kind of goofy looking characters. This one looks like she's suffering from insomnia. Probably going to murder you if you ever break up with her. I, yeah, I was going to say, I'm getting more of a Carrie vibe from this one. If you cover her in blood, it's probably just a shot for shot remake of the movie. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know what? The most popular one is the most popular. I like this one, but she's neon reflective. So if we could just t change the skin tone, we'll be good. For a reason. <laughs> it probably looks the best. But her skin's like super white. Yeah. That was a ghost. Some mirror the colors there we go. a bit saturated. Uh, something like that. That's kind of nice fiery hairstyle. That's good. Oh, yeah. so I didn't mean to spend time in the character customizer. Wait, no, it sucks you in for bloody thing. It sucks you in, man. Am I tripping balls or are her eyes just off? There's something wrong with her. How is his EU account uh, now an MEU? No, he's an NA account. I'm pretty sure. Eyes. Yeah. It doesn't look right. Am I just overthinking sure. this? What does a normal person's eye? He was EU look before. Well, maybe like? he is EU. I don't know. It he just question. looks. Off. He, I'll be honest. He started and stopped this game like eight times. Who knows? It's a choose-your-own-adventure server situation for this man. He said he's. I don't know what I've done, but I think on the I've SEA in this like vid. Separated her eyes a little bit more. She needs to check something. Really? Because this is the. Of course. He's a man of culture. Um, this is his original account. I think that this is NA. Yeah, good thing I checked that. Are we happy with that? I think so. Miss Krabs. Okay. Honestly, I appreciate the fact that he didn't go for the torpedo um, situation on the per uh, personality. I hate that. Let's go. Here she is. So let's see how right. video's new player experience has changed, if at all. Well, this is different. We're starting off in Valencia. Ah, uh, this so is fine. Changed. Except that's for the fact that it gives me PTSD of spending great. four years like to get my Elton thing. piece. Yes. This is yep. scuffed. Got all these things popping up on the screen. This intro is super buggy. What, why, what is this overlay? I think this is just bugged. I'm going to hold R to skip. What a mess. Proud of you. I guess I missed some... 
classic or OG player right there. Important okay. story. So this is interesting. I've got this. This needs to do a better job of saying you want to pick this one. Like, like you definitely want to pick this one. This one is also acceptable. This is no. I've done all three of the new ones. Choice of three different starting zones. Ancient Stone Chamber. Which yeah, slows the down their momentum. Experience. True. Mountain of Eternal Winter. I think this is what I did the last time I played the game. Mountain of Eternal and Winter was the solid. one, Land of the Morning Light, which is the new content. Stone Chamber is good for season skip. Yeah, but for a new player who's not going to try to skip it and wants to experience stuff and be slow, I strongly recommend Land of the Morning Light for sure. Let's do that one. I feel I like, like I should have done straight the new into one. the new content. Yeah, let's go yes. to the big immersion breaking giant light of yellow. You shut your <laughs> mouth. We like being the moths. Like different. Like no, the visuals you guys don't here think so. I don't know. Non BDO like. Oh, it's telling us about the Magnus quest line. I did that at the end of last year and it was uh, a little bit traumatic. Yeah, all of this is going to make zero sense to a new player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, I've seen enough. Yeah, I'm not really going to uh, pay attention. You didn't. Oh, shut up. You didn't even play Land of the Morning Light. You played the Stone Chamber. Of course it didn't make sense to you. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate that his chat told him to do Ancient Stone Chamber. It literally, it... Oh man, you know what really just grinds my gears? Oh man. He didn't do Land of the Morning Light. He would have had a much better experience. Yeah. His chat spammed Ancient Stone. I know, it's because they're degenerates. And don't act like you're not all the same people. Damn it. Light was better. Exactly, Attention dude. None of it made any sense story. at all. Because okay, if, you, you spammed R, I watched him play the entire thing on stream. Um, he spammed R through the whole thing. He's like, none of it makes any sense. Classic video player, by the way. Now, I mean, we're also talking about the same content creator who, who literally kept trying to put the name of his horse in the box that said type R do or not right above it with very specific instructions. He does this too. NPCs to talk to. We're here for the combat. We're here for the big damage. Here I love how he's just spamming R. He's like, area. he's just hitting R as fast as he can. Yeah, new players are never going to understand this. Like, uh, uh, That's somebody's Carrick, by the way. He's like, oh my god, look at the new boat. Like, <laughs> that's a Carrick. <laughs> the new boat's on the other side of it. Obviously, visuals. One of Black Desert's strong suits. Look at his channels. That's not any channels. Okay. All right, yeah. Early impressions. Yeah, I think the visuals of the game look great. Yeah, I, mean, I do I think agree. some of the character models, especially like the characters' faces, like the, the way the hair connects to like the person's skull or face. Hair? Looks not super great, but overall it's good. Solution, this just be good. bald. I can already tell that exactly. they seem the to be putting more effort really into storytelling. And cut scenes because hey guys before, thanks for all the follows the hey girl hey there thanks wasn't really follows, many cut scenes at all mm -hmm. don't worry i promise i'm reading everything i just read really quickly mandatory this is what i'm scenes. talking about <laughs> so we'll i hate it when people are like god no one's gonna understand this and he's just speed running the whole thing give it a chance shall we i don't mind like the cut have scenes. a choice are you reacting to a react video yeah i heard he, he shit talk video so i wanted to see it's just hard to take it seriously when random pieces of environment are like jittering around. Oh wait, yeah, what? the cutscenes were buggy as hell. Like that at that end because scene where the guys were like, "You played the wrong story, man." Care for a drink? What up, chillers? How you doing, man? What bunny creature? I don't think I've ever seen a bunny humanoid in BD. Ryzen Five series, good to run with thirty sixty. Absolutely, yeah. So I have a, I have a. Um, if you scroll down, you can see all my specs. But in my normal PC or my gaming PC, I have an Intel, uh, roughly equivalent to like the Ryzen ninety eight hundred K or ninety seven hundred K. And then in my streaming PC, I have a Ryzen. Both of them BO run before. video just fine when I want to run them on either PC. New race, trying to appeal thirty sixty is more than enough. Pearl Abyss. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. Ooh, these iframes. Yeah, you're okay. not playing wizard anymore. Yeah, Dude, these iframes really cool. feel good. Wait, what? I summoned a dog. I'm just pressing buttons and I just... And it's technically a fox, but we'll take it. Summoned a dog. I haven't even fought anything in my early impressions of the combat for this it's class. It's pretty good. Wait, what the hell is that? Another animal humanoid. It's a An turtle! Captain. Kind of cute. 
But I wouldn't mind cute. a plushie of that guy. Yeah. Good hey, little mascot. Thank you. I can already tell this class is going to be would, so fun. With they would make a fortune if they had plushies of those things. I'm just saying, I would throw my money at the screen. Oh, fluid though. The little rabbit things and stuff, like, yeah. His iframes are. Oh, it looks like he's corrupted. I have, What's I have my Black Spirit plushie. Yeah, I was about to say. Being in Black Desert. There's no need to bully, lads. Foots literally through his through his neck, clipping through him. Oh my god, I can't take these cutscenes. Am I fucking crazy? Or does the black spirit have more hair than I do? Please tell me that's not like a hairline that he's got going on. How did I not? This is bullshit. That was not there the whole time. Seriously? Oh, that's right. All I've been playing this game seven years. Never now. noticed that. I forgot about that. Yeah, I remember what whenever awesome I changed that. Was. I remember whenever I played. There was like uh, that one castle I was at, Heidel, and then there was like another one that was like, uh, like Heidel would be here, and it was like down here. I think it was called like Calfion or something. Yeah. And like I would have to take my shit over there. Oh. oh, it was so awful. Okay, yeah. No, before global storage, you kids don't understand. Kids these days. I used to have to go uphill both ways to fucking Calfion in the goddamn snow to go get all my shit, and then I'm, oh, fuck, I left it in Valencia. I gotta run all the way the fuck back over there. It's absolutely brutal. Oh, it was so annoying. Yeah. Calfion, yeah. Transport speed wagon, but I need it now. Need run when the game gives you a million percent run speed every few minutes. Yeah, exactly. I never so let's assess that. whether or not this cutscene is worth watching, shall we? We wake up. We walk around. We walk to the back of the house. I will say they could do a better job with the cutscenes. We stretch. Big stretch. Bit of camera work. A bird flapped. We lay on the floor. We stand up. Bro, like, what is this ASMR? <laughs> is he doing ASMR? Yeah, that is. <laughs> Mate, how is this like a mandatory watch cutscene? Uh -huh. Thank around. Thank you. All right, I'll be honest. He's not wrong. Stop. The mandatory cutscenes gotta go, unless it's some cinematic shit from Diablo 4 that I absolutely want to watch because I want to watch Lilith fucking destroy people. Round, panning shot, sneaky beaver. Like they could absolutely the put better cutscenes in here. Mandatory to watch, unskippable. Finally, our first chance to do some combat. Okay, let's see it. Okay, okay. Yeah, this feels. Trying like to say this really video cool cinematic class. suck ass. Oh no, no, I agree with that. I. Most of our cinematics are awful. I mean, you, you look at some uh, at a cinematic like StarCraft 2 and you're just, oh my God, I still watch um, StarCraft 2 cutscenes and by the end of it, I'm like, for iron! You know, like, I'm like, ready to go. World of Warcraft, it's this beautiful cinematic cutscene. Absolutely awesome. You're like, for the horde! And then you boot up the game and it's like fucking worse graphics than Minecraft. And this is kind of the opposite. You know what I mean? This meat, like... The expectation is there. You know what I mean? You see the cutscene equivalent gameplay. We want cutscene here, and then we want to be disappointed after we've started playing. These effects. That's a lot of shit. What the fuck? Sit. Oh, he, he wins in the cutscene. I can already say, if you're a new player... Video. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wish that you could keybind all the spells. That's the only concern I have for BDO with the combat. Uh, I wish you could keybind them. I don't want to learn combos. If I want to learn a combo. This guy is the only fucking war <laughs> This guy is the only player on God in the history of MMOs that is just like, I don't, I just want to hit one, two, three, man. I want it to be basic. And in fairness, he's bait. Like he and I are, are older. When I, again, I explained this before. When I was younger, I wanted a super flashy class like Dark Knight 2. But nowadays I'm a simpler man. You know, I just want a class that's not going to give me a lot of trouble. You know what I mean? So we just do the low APM fucking Awakening Mystic. Or Suck Zerker. You know what I mean? Combos, I'd be playing Street Fighter. But he could just... He could just play Succession Corsair. Alternatively, Succession Nova only requires three fingers. So I think that might be his speed as well. Don't start with this quest line because it's going to, number one, confuse the you absolute... You could phone home on that fucking class. You can keybind them, but you can't spell Q. My understanding is that you cannot spell Q if you keybind specific abilities. No. Is that true? Yeah, so that's the... Yeah, that that's... that's So it's like, so keybinding is just worse. You just... You're, you're, you're yeah, because you want to use the combos. It's fun. Correct. Some, <laughs> some cancels are blocked. Yeah, that sucks. 
That's how the game works. There's nothing wrong with wanting combat to be more combo oriented. Well, yeah, I just think that there should be an option to not have to do that if you don't want to. You know, are y'all on all. Xbox? Like, no, I, we're playing PC. And, and again, like it, you know, they make the game how they want to make the game, right? It, it, it's you know, like what the fuck. I'm just saying that, like you know, as a new player, like g g coming into it, like I, I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I get it. Some players yeah, want the binds, but he, there are classes like that will allow you to do lines, that. Like old he just characters. refuses. He just refuses to play anything but warrior. You're in this trippy mm -hmm. place. You're not really doing a whole lot of combat, which is the best part of the game and the game's biggest strength. That is true. This is crazy. I wish the game just gave me like a ton of time to go grind mobs. I guess we'll get to that later. You're going to have plenty of time to do that. I promise. Plenty. Later. Well, I got to that 20 part. seconds combat. 10 minutes of cutscenes. Yeah. Talk about playing to your weaknesses. Didn't he, uh, didn't, didn't Blazy Peon play Final Fantasy? It was the same thing. But the, at least the, the story no. in Final Fantasy was more compelling. Yeah, that's, again, that's my biggest gripe with our storyline. It's just not very complaining, uh, compelling. Uh, however, it's funny that Peon's saying all this. He's pretending that he actually didn't play the game for 10,000 hours already. Like, he, he's like, man, I wish I could go grind some mobs. Like, what? You have 40 billion silver liquid sitting in your marketplace. Don't tell me you haven't been hitting, hitting mobs and that your favorite geometric shape is roughly a circle. This free pet. The game's very generous in the free stuff it gives you. Yep. Okay, so I guess I need to go through all of the. At least he chose the correct main storyline, bro. For this zone, I'm guessing. He didn't have a chat to mislead him. With the red flowers everywhere. Birds flying up in the sky as you run by. At least there's less unskippable What up, Chris? And how you doing, now. man? Welcome back. I'm glad that that was only a thing at the start. For the next few hours, I spammed the living shit out of that arcade. I did that. And auto -pathed back and... I fucking hate this. <laughs> I hate it when people say, God, new players are never going to understand this. This is bullshit. And they're just I'm like, I need a new keyboard. My R key's broken. Up, broken. Like, come on, dude. A new player is going to at least give it a give it a go. For so yeah. much that the entire experience They might understand was a little bit of blur. it. Remember how I thought there was eight tails to do? Nah, once you've completed the first eight, another five pop up. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's true. As a veteran player, as a veteran player, you're like, "Oh, thank God. I finished the eight books. It's over. It's what the fuck are these?" Like you're <laughs> There's five more after you finish the first day, dude. New players aren't gonna have that big of a that big of a like complain about it probably, but the I will say the that was rough. The entire quest line takes eight hours if you speed through it and skip all dialogue. If you're a brand new player, I highly recommend against choosing this new quest line. <laughs> as a... I, as someone who actually plays the game and a veteran, if you're a new player, you need to pick Land of the Morning Light. It's a much better experience. Le um, Mount of Eternal Winter is also a good experience. Just don't pick Ancient Stone Chamber. Like, but that was poor advice. That was really poor advice. I don't like it when people do that. The only reason he's advising this is because the other one is faster. That's why he's saying that. He said because, the, because Ancient Stone Chamber is faster and new players don't care about fast. They're like, wow, look how big the world is. Wow, this is so cool. And they're like running around and they're checking stuff. They might find a few Dokebi chests on their own. Right? Like... <laughs> Starting experience. Because once you've started it, you're locked into... Lost Ark is dead Ark? Yeah, no, this is the Lost Ark Refugee Center. We've got you. We've got all of your supplies and basic needs here. The eight hours of absolute mindless gameplay God. that does nothing to show off the game's main selling point, which is the combat. The I think it does. I mean, like... I think it does. There's a fair amount of combat in this main story. Like, you get to experiment with it, but I think it does a better job of showing you that PvE is an active part of this game. Yes. Autopathing and busy work to combat ratio is about 95 to 5%. And whilst there were some moments in the unskippable cutscenes that may give you a slight chuckle, these big streamers just mad nobody holding their hand and their chat can't carry them. No, I actually think that Lazy Peon had a better experience playing the game without his chat there to bother him. The juice just isn't worth the squeeze. I know some long-term BDO players it. will play through this questline and say, yeah, it's bad, but they've at least put effort into it. And yes, that's true. 
Damn it, I just started the game yesterday and every YouTube video said to start at Ancient Stone Chamber. Solo, just, just start back over on another season character. If you're one day in, bro, you'll... Trust me. Trust me. Land of the Morning Light, Mountain of Eternal Winter is also acceptable. It's true, effort has indeed gone into this quest line. However, effort doesn't equal... If you don't care about the main story, though, and you, you really are just going to speedrun it, then Ancient Stone Chamber is totally fine if you're a new player, but... I would say that most new players play a game expecting the main story as their first experience in the game to be good, right? And Land of the Morning Light is the, I cannot emphasize this enough. Land of the Morning Light is the very best that we can do. Cool, good. Imagine Ferrari releasing a new car, but trying uh -huh. to sell it to you by talking about the storage space the car has for your shopping. That's not Very why you'd point. want a Ferrari and mindlessly going through cutscenes and questing. But in fairness, you still got to drive the Ferrari around, so... Isn't why you'd want to play BDO. You buy a Ferrari to show off and go fast. And you play BDO to enjoy top tier gameplay and exists in a massive persistent world. Exactly. In my opinion, if I was new now, I would rush to get the boss blitz content. It's so much fun. Also, you get an AP and a DP for doing the main storyline of Land of the Morning Light. You do not get an AP. Well, I guess you do get for hitting level 60, but like, I, it's just better. You know, with sandbox elements and freedom. True. Sure. Thankfully, once He's I stopped right. recording, I was able to pass the time and get through this quest line by distracting myself. He skipped by chatting the best part of the quest line. And watching stuff on my second monitor. That's actually the most. That's that's bull. He didn't show my boy. Oh God. Andal. He didn't show my boy Andal. Just OP thing. How many of you guys did something like I remember? I was we in, love like, a Andal. And I did every statue of Lilith. Every single one. Done. As, a As an XBD player, Finny I graphics, noticed. you do have a point. I started the game in Land of the Morning Light, uh, and it felt like it was holding me back from regressing after a while. It also didn't allow me to do certain things till I got back to the mainland. That is true. I, I am not sure why the developers don't make it easier to access the mainland for new players that start in Land of the Morning Light. That is absolutely true. That should be fixed literally immediately. Like, next patch. They need to just... Let you be able to Magnus to the mainland instantly. Um, because there's so many players that have whispered me like, "Blue, I need a compass to from Land of the Morning Light." They're just a brand new player. They're stranded. They can't get back. This game gets a lot better. But if I was a new player that had never played the game before, and this was my first experience, I can I still make a seasonal character and get all the rewards? Oh, you should. If you didn't, if you didn't start with a seasonal character and you're only level 38, just start over. Make a seasonal character. It'll go way faster. Of most likely Beyond quits. seasonal servers. When game developers design quest lines so long, so easy, and so brainless, you have to ask yourself: Is Guardian good? Fortunately, I made these choose class guides to help you pick your class in BDO. I will address the question though. Guardian is an excellent class, both Awakening and Succession. Slower playstyle for sure, but amazing frontline potential. Excellent AOE. Some of the best in the game. Like. Really, really low APM overall for PVE, and just you feel like you have a really strong impact in PvP. So, what's the it's a point? solid class? If the gameplay is impossible to fail, are you even playing a video game at that point? Controversial you can opinion, fail. Here, but if you're gonna ram story down my throat with very little gameplay, then just make a two hour movie and force me to watch that instead. I feel Jesus the exact same. God, dude, he's so negative. This is why Lazy Piano, I stopped watching some of his stuff because, man, like, he used to make really positive content about most MMOs, and nowadays he plays something and he just rips it to shreds. The base argument is there. He's not wrong. There's too many unskippable clip, um, like, cutscenes and stuff, but, like, man, chill out. Oh, he is going off. Yeah. It's like God he's damn. taking a, it's like a passive aggressive Same way about Final Fantasy 14's questing. People say, oh, the story's good. My reaction is always, yeah, but what about the gameplay? If the gameplay to story ratio is... Well, see, the, the, I think Final Fantasy's fine because yeah. the story is good. Yeah, The problem the is opposite. Like the BDO story, I, I didn't really feel like it was super good. So I didn't give a shit as much. Yeah, but the gameplay is just exactly the opposite of what Peon said, exactly what Asmund said. I, I, that's the that that's really how I feel. Like it, and you can skip the story in Final Fantasy, you just buy a boost. So small, I honestly just don't see the point. It's almost like watching a movie anyway. See, he just goes but overboard. More tedious as you need to click through it constantly. <laughs> 
Anyway, I eventually got through this quest line, jumped on a boat and arrived in Altanova, where the game would then open up for me to grind mobs and play the game normally, which is where we'll continue off in the next video. Overall, as much as the new quest line was unbearable, I'm still excited to play the game more now that it's out of the way and I don't have to do it again. Keep an eye out for the next vid. And so what, he spent like 20 minutes talking about how negative the game is and all this shit, and then at the very end we get like a one-liner about, oh yeah, I'm very excited about playing the fucking, this is like those Steam reviews, it has 10,000 hours playing the game, this game sucks, thumbs down. Like what? In a few days where we'll hopefully promote from season servers, spend my 40 what billion up, silver, check out this new PvE boss blitz mode, as well as some other cool changes added to the game. Now in back two weeks years. ago, I need to play them run like seen bids and it looks gods. cool. Social media on seen the screen, YouTube video, awesome. Watching, yeah, that's I'll amazing. See you in the next one. Jesus, man. Do I, look like I just. Here's the Steve's God. video that we just watched. Like, I, I love how, like, the first 15 minutes were like, yeah, I was playing the game. It was like, okay. And then, like, the last minute, it's like, yeah, this whole fucking thing. It sucks. Eight fucking hours yeah. just to do this shitty quest. Like, like check what? the comments. Okay, let me take a look at the comments. Oh, no. I'll link it to you guys. I'll watch the Stoops one tomorrow. Even worse, since there's some main quest lines you can't complete if you don't have almost this gear. Well, I'd have to look at it and see for myself. But we... What quest lines can you not do unless you have this gear? Stars in requires like 580 gear score. You're already 580 by the time you reach that. Odalita, maybe. You have to kill a couple cows, but they're like really weak. I don't understand. We will watch the Stoops video. Don't worry. I was a new player this season. I played Wusa and chose exactly, Lomo. Exactly, Kristen. Honestly, like the stories. They're quite good. I'm currently... Exact thing. Oh, God. I love the comments. Hold on. You can read it. Look at this. I was a new player on season. I picked Wusa and chose Land of the Morning Light. Honestly, like those stories. They're quite good to the point where I hoped that there were more episodes. But to Peon's point, it's about 80% of the story. You won't get to fight uh, LOL. But I fully learned most of my combos when I finished Land of the Morning Light. So you did get to fight. You just well, and did Valencia and Kama Sylvia quest lines where you'll get to fight a lot. I'm currently level 59. I think that honestly, it's a good amount of combat if you knew your combos by the time you finish the quest line. I think that line right there kind of says it all. The season I played Wusa and chose Lomo. Honestly, like but it's a good comment. Quite good. I'm currently level 59. Perlovis has done a great job with the quality of life improvements. Also, now much easier to get gear and content, no longer being gear locked and a massive grind walls. Overall, BDO is moving in the direction I always hoped it would. Thank you, Raygon. Perlovis has done a great job with quality of life improvements, much easier to get gear and content, no longer being locked behind a massive grind wall. BDO is moving in the direction I always wished it would. Never this is the Asmund Gold video. Kind of longevity. Open world sandbox games usually do, but they just also don't have like it's the been same just over two control that like uh, theme park MMOs do. I feel like this that's is kind Lazy of a pretty Beyond's popular channel. thing, right? It's like theme park MMOs come out, everybody plays them, then they leave, whereas like sandbox Lenzik MMOs. Just subscribed. Yo, Lindsay, thanks for that brand new sub. Welcome to the squadron, buddy. Nothing makes me wetter than a brand new sub. Also, thanks for all the follows, guys. Hey, girl, hey, I've seen them coming in. I've uh, just been a little focused on the Not everybody plays them, but they stick around for longer. Another like Peon him. L. I think Peon is a great creator. I think he's very entertaining to watch. I think he's overly negative about BDO because he's jaded. Um, and it frustrates me watching his videos today, being someone that watched his videos when he started playing BDO many, many years ago. You know, it's just, it's rough. General, but I, I don't know. I've been enjoying BDO more lately. Combat is too crisp. Uh, but brand new player, and we're going to BDO a chance. All the stigma around that, recent changes. I'm loving the game. Yeah, I'm going to have to play this more and see for myself. Um, I Please do Land of the Morning Light, Asmund. Please, please, please. Yeah, yeah I've been playing the new Diablo season. So also, join Reforged. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. If he did a siege with me, that's it. I've been busy with that. But I will He's eventually dead. play this and continue with the gameplay. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen, but, um, you know, I'll play it more and learn from there. I think that's it. There's a video. Good. Right there. You heard the man. Uh, so they 
You heard the man. Go black robe him. I'm just kidding. Don't do that.